Well, the better than expected jobs numbers sent interest rates soaring today. The 10 year Treasury rate was up well over 8 percent, ending the day at its highest level since August 2011, up 22 basis points. Could this be the beginning of the bond bubble bursting? Former budget director under President Reagan, David Stockman, has been warning about this for quite some time, and he joins us now. So, David, is this it? Are we there? Well, uh, I think uh, you have to draw some pretty serious conclusions when you see the bond market move uh, in a matter of two months from a yield of 1.6 on the 10-year to, you know, over 2.7 today. Uh, why should anybody be surprised? This isn't a real market. Uh, so the law of supply and demand hasn't been repealed. The Fed is in there massively with its big thumb on the scale, buying, you know, half of the new issue or even more of treasuries, as well as almost all of the new issue of mortgage-backed securities. So when you have that much buying, obviously prices are going to be overstated, yields are understated. Yeah. But once the Fed starts tapering, once the Fed stops the money printing, which it's been doing for six years running now, obviously the law of supply and demand is going to come back. Pricing is going to reset at much higher, rational, sustainable levels. Some of the smart people in the market are figuring that out. They've been in a leverage carry trade anyway. They're dumping the bond exactly as we've been saying for quite some time now. So we're in for a huge uh, adjustment, relocation, a dislocation, and I think it's going to spread to other markets over a period okay. of time. Okay. Now, David, I have to admit to a devilish instinct that I have whenever I talk to you, because I love to make you mad. I love it when you go off on a rant. And nothing is going to make you madder than what I'm about to say. So oh, listen up. <laughs> Bernanke would claim success, because to, what he's trying to do is to taper off while not causing a strong market reaction. When you look at what happened today, the uh, 22 basis points up on the on the 10 year yield, huge spike. I haven't seen a spike in interest rates like this in a long time, well over 8 percent. And yet the market was up 140 points on the Dow. So Bernanke was right. He was successful. He's uh, he's he's tapering. And at the same time, the market uh, not only is it not panicking, but it's going way up. Well, the, the problem, though, is the economy isn't recovering. This wasn't a good jobs report. It was a bad well, it was one. Be Hold on a second. It was better than it, I, I would agree with you, and we can't afford to have unemployment like this, but it was better than expected. Well, it was better than expected, but who, who was doing the expecting? It's all the Wall Street economists who are trying to get you to buy stocks, okay? This was a terrible report because internally uh, it was all part-time jobs, the same old story again, uh, 130,000 part-time jobs, restaurants, bars, hotels, Retail clerks, uh, temp agencies, the average pay on those is 19000 a year. You can hardly get by on that. The real issue is breadwinner jobs and construction manufacturing. But, David, I understand that, I, and, I, and I agree with you. It's, it's in, in real terms, it's, it's a horrible report, and what it means for the economy is bad, and this is the worst recovery that we've had since World War II. I agree with you on all of that, but honestly, aren't you surprised that the market popped so high today when interest rates also popped so high today? Yeah, well, uh, I, I don't try to predict the stock market day to day because I think it is basically um, a, a monetary heroin addict uh, waiting for a seizure. One of these days, there'll be a seizure uh, when the stock market figures out that the world economy is now slowing down dramatically from China to Europe, Japan, and everybody in between. That we're not creating jobs. That unemployment. Or I mean that the GDP growth this quarter is likely to be 1% at best, that the Fed has done nothing except reflate risk assets, especially, uh, you know, the high beta assets uh, in the stock market. So we're, we're heading for the same fall after five years of expansion that we had after 2002 to 2007. If you look at these job numbers, they're almost identical. Part-time jobs created, the bust, the uh, stock market and other financial bubbles uh, are uh, inflated. They collapse. The jobs disappear because the upper uh, income stops spending, and then we start all over again. The Did Fed is a dangerous, destructive institution. Well, David, David Stockman, it's, it's Cheryl Cassoni, and I just wanted to ask you a quick question, and I, I always enjoy speaking to you, uh, but I, I want to ask you, and we kind of talked about this last time uh, on the air, you know, when you look at what you were speaking about, and the, that is the fact that the economy, the global economy, is going to fall off a cliff, and that we're not prepared for this, 
The Fed, though, Ben Bernanke would continue to pump money into the system. They, they have proven and shown over and over again, David, they are not going anywhere when it comes to employment, when it comes to, to uh, stimulus. Um, I mean, this could go on for a long time. Of course. I think uh, they've shown over and over they'll keep reflating the bubble because they're bubble blind until it finally collapses of its own weight. That happened with dot-com in 2000. We had an uh, economic dislocation. They reflated. We had the housing bubble. It collapsed. In 2008, we had the entire collapse of the Wall Street bubble, and the economy went down again. What? So we're now in the third bubble reflation of this century. The Fed doesn't know when to quit. It's run by dangerous people. And the only, uh, you know, uh, supporters of this are all the people out in Wall Street speculating on the risk assets that the Fed keeps pushing higher uh, as a result of the absurd policy. You know, of still, they're not tapering yet. Whether mm -hmm. they start in September, we'll find out. But buying $85 billion of bonds a month, monetizing that much debt when we're in year five of the so-called recovery, defies every rule of sound monetary and financial policy ever thought of by mankind before 2000. So if you want to believe that Bernanke, who's been wrong on every call he's ever made, who's flying by the seat of his pants, who's scared to death of all of the uh, boys and girls and robots in the stock market, if you want to <laughs> believe in that, fine. I don't. I think there's just a huge disaster lurking somewhere around the corner. David, come on, admit it. You like Ben Bernanke. <laughs> I do not. I do <laughs> not. Gee, we never would have guessed that. David Stockman, former OMB director, wonderful to have you in, David. Okay, thank you. Have a good weekend. Uh, he Great. has not changed.